On August 17, 2024, at 9.48 p.m. local time, a major explosive eruption began at the Shivlich volcano in Russia, rapidly sending millions of tons of ash high into the atmosphere. As a section of Shivlich's Karen lava dome with two A's exploded, a sustained plume of ash rose to 6, then 8, then 9 kilometers or 29,500 feet. As this eruption column drifted towards the east, many millions of tiny particles of ash rubbed together to create static electricity, leading to a spectacular light show involving dozens of volcanic lightning strikes per second. Simultaneously, pyroclastic flows raced outwards in multiple directions, creating a phoenix cloud and incinerating several square kilometers of surrounding forest. Ashfall was so intense that it turned the sky a dark gray color which continued even once the sun rose at 6.14 a.m. Around this time, I received a report that approximately 2.5 millimeters or a tenth of an inch of ash had fallen on the Uskamchatki region. By 7.05 a.m., the eruption plume had reached a length of 1,000 miles or 1,609 kilometers reaching Adu Station and Adak in the western Aleutian Islands. Then, five minutes later, something unexpected occurred as the ground began to rapidly shake back and forth. A major magnitude 7.0 megathrust earthquake had just struck 417 kilometers or 259 miles to the south of the volcano at the subduction zone between the Pacific and Oktosk plates. As the ground shook for approximately 20 seconds, moving by as much as 1.7 meters or 5.6 feet, pieces fell off of some buildings, some water heaters were damaged, and portions of Kanchaka's largest city were left without clean drinking water due to damage to infrastructure. A tsunami warning was then issued with initial warnings suggesting wave heights of 30 to 100 centimeters. While a tsunami did end up striking several areas, it was far smaller, only reaching a height of 2.5 millimeters, so as a result, the tsunami warning was cancelled. And yet, absolutely no changes occurred at the still erupting Shivlich volcano. By the time the earthquake had struck, Shivlich had already been erupting for 10.5 hours, with the two events being completely unrelated to each other. So no, despite what several news outlets are claiming, the earthquake did not trigger Shivlich to erupt. Also, for a large earthquake to have a chance to trigger an eruption at a volcano that is already close to erupting, the volcano in question needs to experience minimum MMI-5 shaking, or about 10% the acceleration of gravity. Instead, however, Shivlich experienced a figure only 2% of this amount, equating to the very low end of MMI-2 shaking. Across the next 12 hours, the sustained eruption column continued, but it became weaker and weaker over time, now only reaching an altitude of 4 kilometers or 13,100 feet. In total, I estimate that Shivlich's latest eruption ejected between 8.5 million and 31.8 million cubic meters of ash, with my best estimate being 15 million cubic meters, meaning if confirmed, this eruption would be assigned a volcanic explosivity index of a 3. This eruption was not all that unexpected in hindsight, as not only is Shivlich the most consistently explosive volcano on the planet during the Holocene Epoch, but weird behavior had been observed 5 kilometers west-southwest of its main dome since mid-2023. At this location, intense fumarolic degassing gave way to a growing andesite lava dome, which rapidly expanded in size at a notable location. The last three times a lava dome grew in this very spot, each individual dome was associated with a major VEI-3 or VEI-4 eruption. And yet, although Shivlich typically produces dozens to hundreds of medium-sized explosions every year, it had not produced a single explosion since July 28th of 2023, with the Cairn Dome's volatiles being removed at shallow depth due to their prior degassing events. Thus, over the next 387 days, deeper volatiles migrated to the surface and built in pressure underneath the viscous Cairn Dome until it broke overlying rock, creating the major eruption we just observed. In other words, almost a year's worth of magma was erupted in less than 24 hours at this volcano.